y'all welcome back to my channel my name is Nia Ayana if you're new here I am a be self-proclaimed DIY queen and I love all things beauty so thank you for joining me guys okay so I am a little late to the game but I am finally testing out the Dollar Tree crafters choice vinyl like I've been watching so many videos on it I couldn't wait to try it and I finally went to my Dollar Tree um, in my area, well actually I went to multiple ones, and I found the vinyls. So I'm excited to test that out in this video. Since it's almost Valentine's Day, I decided to test out the vinyl with some Valentine's Day inspired projects. So basically this is like a little two-in-one video. Before we get started, please, please, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like I am almost at 5k and I am so excited. <sighs> I really want to get to 5k soon, so please, please hit that subscribe button. You will not be disappointed, y'all. If you like DIY and beauty, what are you waiting for? Hit the button. <laughs> Alright guys, here's the video. Okay, so let's talk about Crafter Square Dollar Tree Vinyl. So I went to like probably two or three different Dollar Trees to rack up on um, the vinyl. Um, each one had different options, so I'm glad I went to different ones. But there are a dollar each, and I got all the permanent ones. Um, it's the same size as the Cricut vinyl roll, 12 inches by 48 inches, but it's just a dollar. The Cricut roll, is 12 by 48 inches and they usually start off at $7.99. So we got a dollar and we got $7.99 and up. You know what I mean? You can't beat a dollar. Like, come on, come on. It's crazy, right? They also have the tools as well. Like, um, I have all the Cricut tools. I'll show you, I'll compare and contrast them in this video. Um, but I have the Crafter Square uh, scraper. I have the Crafter Square spatula and I have the Crafter Square picker and I have all of these on the Cricut brand too and they honestly they look the exact same and these are a dollar so that's a win um I'm gonna be using those tools when I uh, do my projects as well so I can test those out to see if I like it if it's the same as the Cricut brand or if it's different I will be testing those out as well, so yeah. Okay, so let's get to the fun part. I did four different Valentine's Day inspired projects testing out this, this uh, Crafter Square vinyl. I used it different ways to test out the versatility of the vinyl to see like if I like it or not. So we're gonna check that out in a second. All right, so my first test project, test project number one, we'll call it. One of the most popular ways people use vinyl is to decorate like cups glasses mugs stuff like that and i wanted to try that out on my first project so i found a, a red and a black mug at dollar tree and i'm going to create a cute little v-day inspired design on it testing out the dollar tree vinyl so let's check that out okay so these are a close-up of the crafter square tools i will also be comparing each tool to the cricut brand tools um, that i also have The Cricut Scraper Tool is a slightly different shape than a Dollar Tree Scraper Tool, but everything else is pretty much the same. Um, so with the price, um, of course the Dollar Tree one is a dollar, or dollar twenty-five, um, versus the Cricut um, brand. It comes in like a two-pack with a spatula tool and um, the scraper tool. So total is $10.99. And if you divide that in half, so about $5.50 for one. So we have a dollar um, versus roughly $5.50 for these tools. With the spatula tool, the Cricut brand is a little shorter and the spatula part is like bent up more upward than the Crafter Square one. Also, it has the finger indents on the handle, which I think is pretty cool. 
The price for this is a dollar versus about five fifty. The Cricut Picker tool and the Crafter Square tool is like pretty much the same, except for the Cricut Picker is a little more bent than the Crafter Square Picker. Um, and like I mentioned before, the finger grip is placed on the um, Crafter Square brand. The price is a dollar versus $8.99. I went to Design Space and made a quick design for the mugs. I decided to do a couple style like type mug using my parents' um, names, Andy and Jay. So I watched other dollar store vinyl videos and most of them said the same thing that the vinyl is very thin. I watched Kayla's Cricut Creations. Uh, shout out to you girl, cause you helped me out a lot in this video. Um, <laughs> And I learned from her that the vinyl needs to be cut on a low setting. She showed how this type of vinyl needed to be cut with a 70 cut pressure, which is lower than the washi tape setting. As you can see here, washi tape is set at 85. She showed how to add a new custom material option. I created a Dollar Tree vinyl custom option and set the cut pressure to 70. I then added it to my favorite, selected it as an option, and then cut my vinyl. All right, so we are all cut, as you can see here. Now, this is my first time using the Crafter Square uh, scraper and picker. I honestly see no difference between the one and the Cricut one, like 10 out of 10, real recommend. <laughs> So I had a hard time working with the vinyl at first. It is a lot thinner than I'm used to, just like the other videos mentioned. Um, that first one didn't release properly, so I recut another piece and that worked better. Next, I am applying transfer tape so I can apply the vinyl to the mugs. I am using the Cricut brand transfer tape because I could not find the Dollar Tree one, but honestly, I heard the Dollar Tree one was trash, so, <laughs> you know, Cricut one was better anyway.
Now I'm grabbing my mugs and applying everything starting with the heart. What I noticed with this uh, white vinyl, that because it's so thin, like you can see through it a lot more than the other brands. So it kind of looks cheap. Um, however, I had no issues with applying it to the mugs. Another issue is if you look closely, you can see bubbles. Um, other than that, I think the project came out super cute. And um, I'm gonna give these to my parents. <laughs> Okay, so with test project number two, I wanted to um, try out the vinyl and see how well it holds up as a stencil. So I grabbed one of the glass, um, the large glass coasters that are usually like in the kitchenware section of Dollar Tree. Um, this one's a little dirty. I don't even, you see it's all nasty. I ain't clean it, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I grabbed this and I stenciled a cute little design on the back of this um, using the vinyl and you can check that out right now. I already went into design space and picked my design. I sent it to the Cricut to cut and now I am weeding out the heart to make my stencil. Now that this is finished, I'm applying my transfer tape over my stencil so I can apply it to the back of the glass coaster. You can see here that like I'm using an X-Acto knife to cut around the stencil so it can fit properly on the back of the coaster. Next, I'm removing the transfer tape so I can begin painting. So <laughs> this is where I messed up. I use regular paint instead of glass acrylic paint. And it ended up peeling off when I removed the stencil. So I ended up making a new stencil, which I like completely better. It had like a different design on it. And I used red acrylic glass paint this time. Now I am removing the stencil from the coaster and it came out really, really well. Um, there are some small spots, as you can see, that did not stencil out well. 
So I just went in and hand painted those areas to fix, um, to fix the holes. Other than that, overall using the Crafter's Choice or Dollar Tree vinyl as a stencil is a great idea. I would suggest everyone use it this way because this came out so cute. All right, next we have a test project number three. I wanted to try the vinyl out on a different material to see how well it holds up. And I decided to use blooms uh, this time. Um, I went to, of course, Dollar Tree. <laughs> and I grabbed um, heart balloons from their, you know, like their little balloon area. And I placed some of the vinyl on there to create a cute little design. So you can check that out right now. All right, so with this project, I measured the heart balloons and went on Design Space to make and cut out my, my design. I then weeded out my words, added transfer tape, and added it to the balloons. Now, I had a rough time with getting the Crafter's Choice vinyl or Dollar Store Tree vinyl, whichever, whatever y'all want to call it, to stick to the balloons. Like, I was fighting for my life. <laughs> But, 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 it ended up coming out super, super cute. I ended up doing more balloons, but this time I used the Cricut brand vinyl just to see if it looks different. Um, besides it being thicker, it really isn't a huge difference between the two uh, brands. But overall, this was one of my favorite projects that I did and I think it came out cute. What do y'all think? Last but not least, we have test project number four. Um, I wanted to try and layer the vinyl um, and see if that's possible with the Crafter Square Dollar Tree type vinyl. Um, I grabbed a travel coffee mug from the cup section in Dollar Tree and this is what it looks like. And I created like a conversation hearts type design on it using the layering technique um, with the vinyl and you can check that out right now. So I actually found the conversation heart design in this project in Design Space and cut all of the pieces out using my Cricut. I am applying this hot pink vinyl over the black and you can actually see how thin the vinyl is. Look how the vibrancy of the color disappears, you know, once we add it onto the black. You can also see the bubbles as well, but it is what it is. This is like actually my first time layering vinyl and it is a very <laughs> tedious uh, thing to do to say the least. So I put the other colors over the black. Um, this is just the middle layer and we have one more layer to go. Next, I'm putting the top heart layer over the other heart. And yes, I did struggle with the glitter vinyl. Like you can see me. <laughs> like the transfer tape would not stick to the vinyl to save my life. Like 
You see this? The struggle. Once I finished, I measured the transfer tape to fit the cup and I transfer the hearts onto the transfer tape. I then apply the conversation hearts onto the cup. Finally, I filled in all the gaps with extra conversation hearts and voila! I am really, really happy how this came out. Um, even though the vinyl is on a thinner side, it is still workable and it came out really good if I don't say so myself. All right, now that you've seen um, the test projects, I wanted to share some final thoughts on the Crafter Square uh, Dollar Tree vinyl. I really did like enjoy using the vinyl. Like I mentioned during the project, it does have its cons, but honestly for the price point, it is really, really good. I was actually surprised how well it performed um, throughout my whole time testing it out because I was honestly expecting it to be completely trash, not performing well, but it did pretty good. Very, very surprised. I do recommend you buy it uh, for small, simple projects, you know, like um, projects that you do that you don't want to use your expensive Cricut uh, brand name vinyl for. So yeah, you should go buy it. If you have a Cricut machine or any die cutting machine, you should go buy it. And I give it two thumbs up. That also goes for the tools as well. They work really, really well for me, so I'm about to go back up on these tools, honey. Mm. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope I tested out the vinyl well enough for you guys to see. Let me know in the comments below if you have bought the vinyl and if you're thinking about buying it and testing it out, let me know your thoughts below, please. Also, I hope I gave you guys a little bit of uh, Valentine's Day uh, decor or give inspiration as well in this video. I think a lot of the projects came out really cute. Like I love the balloons. The balloons were super cute. And like the mug, the travel tumbler mug thingy, that was cute as well. So hopefully I gave you guys some ideas. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Give me a 5K ASAP, please. Also follow me on my social media, IG and TikTok at Viniayana. They're both the same handle. Follow me there. And I will see you. Oh wait, I didn't tell y'all happy 2022. Happy 2022. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.